Welcome. In this video, we shall discuss about interpersonal skills. My name is Dr. Kibet from the Center for Open Distance and Learning at Chakos University. Interpersonal skills are the skills required to effectively communicate, interact, and work with individuals and groups. Those with good interpersonal skills are strong verbal and non-verbal communicators and are often considered to be good with people. In this section, I want us to look at the categories of interpersonal skills. So the following interpersonal skills are necessary. Social skills. Social skills have to do with social competence or capability and values that enable one to live or get along well with self as well as other people in society. In other words, social skills are the abilities that enable one, that enable an individual to fit into his or her society. Children should also be encouraged not only to cope with themselves, but also to live well with others. The ability of the child to know or understand other people within his or her environment will foster peace and harmony with others. The characteristics needed to live and cope with others in the environment include ability to be assertive, ability to negotiate, decision making, ability, conflict resolution ability, and ability to be ethical. Perception skills. These are capabilities within an individual which help him or her to notice or perceive mentally what other people are thinking. The capabilities assist the individuals to be able to evaluate other people's attitudes, motives, personality, and emotional state, thereby helping him or her respond towards them or a situation appropriately. Children should thus be taught to interpret correctly other people's intentions by merely observing them. When the teacher is, is for example, happy with children's actions, they should check to see if the teacher nods in approval, smiles, or gives a thumbs up gesture. If children are trained to develop perceptual skills, they will be able to avoid actions that make others unhappy. This in turn would improve their relationship with others. Communication or presentation skills. These are verbal and nonverbal abilities that children need to acquire in order to understand effectively, to be understood effectively by others. Children, for example, need to speak with clarity, confidently, loud enough for others to hear, modulate, that is to raise or to lower their voices, in order not to be boring, articulate words correctly and use acceptable speech. They also need to use non-verbal forms of communication in order to present appropriate emotions and emphasize or enforce the content being presented. Use of moments of silence or pauses, gestures, facial expression, eye contact, movement, as well as physical contact are, are for example, important because they give life to communication. Presentation skills. Presentational skills in children are best enhanced during news telling sessions, storytelling, reading, and discussions. As children make their presentation, the teacher should however refrain from discouraging them. For example, correcting their pronunciation words, but instead repeat, repeat them so that they hear the proper pronunciation. Children also need to be reminded that a good communicator looks at their audience since this helps in making oneself to be understood well by others. And finally, the listening skills. Listening is an important skill that enhances interaction with others. A good communicator is also a good listener 
and does not dominate in the conversation. In this way, he or she gets to hear and understand the other person's point of view. Listening is also important because it helps one to be able to know how to respond towards others in a conversation. Children can be helped be good listeners during singing, poetry, news telling, and storytelling sessions. They can also be trained to listen during language drills so that they can hear and pronounce the words properly. They can similarly listen to a story or news when then be asked to retell the story or answer questions regarding various events in the story. As a teacher, you have rest a responsibility to be firm but friendly to children so that they can be able to interact with you and others freely. Guide, counsel, demonstrate or model acceptable habits to children so that they can emulate unintended behaviors or actions. Encourage children to be in good company and give them opportunities to exercise responsibility. Be ready to provide remedial teaching where necessary and create confidence in them as they struggle to learn what seems difficult to them. You may also use negative reinforcement, which entails withdrawing or favors of the child and punishment when necessary, but sparingly, so as to minimize discouragement among children. Most importantly, children should be encouraged to appreciate and accept themselves, but strive hard to improve or remain at their best. And finally, you should also encourage children to appreciate others so as to cultivate positive relationships with those within their environment. And that marks the end of our video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to enable you uh, receive new videos whenever they're posted. You can like or you can share with your friends. Thank you.